Hello everybody, my name is Rachel and today I'm going to do a really quick Friday reads. I actually have Friday afternoon off from work so I'm going to be sitting on my couch while it rains reading books and catching up. I haven't had a good time this week just sit down and read for a long stretch of time and I really want to do that. So I'm going to do like a mini half day readathon for myself this afternoon. I might even extend it into this weekend and try to read a lot of stuff and get a bunch of things finished. So here's what I'm currently reading and what I plan on starting over the weekend. First, I'm currently reading The Girl on the Road by Monica Byrne. I'm maybe a quarter of the way into this. Not far enough into it to really tell you what it's about, but I love the setting. It's a technologically advanced futuristic society and it seems like um, international power has shifted or something. There seems to be a lot of climate change. I really love the setting. Don't really know what the story is about yet, but I love the setting. I'm also reading Castle Hangnail by Ursula Vernon. I took the dust jacket off because I was getting it kind of crunched, so I didn't want to ruin it anymore. Um, this is a middle grade novel. I will definitely be finishing it this afternoon. It's the first one I'm going to finish and I will talk about it a lot more in my weekly wrap up because I love it. Um, even though it is middle grade and I don't read a lot of middle grade these days, this is awesome. I will say if you liked Eva Ibbotson's books as a child or if you like them now, read this. It is, it is really, really good. The other book that I'm currently reading that I'll probably try to finish today is Something Wicked This Way Comes by Ray Bradbury. It's my first Bradbury and it's not at all what I was expecting. The writing style, if this is typical Bradbury, I was not expecting this at all. It's okay so far. I don't think this is going to be a book that blows me away. I'm only a third of the way through it, but blending kind of fantasy and horror, but from the 1960s. I don't think it's scary at all, but I don't really know if I care about the story that much. We will find out. When I finish any or all of those, I will be starting these books next. First, I have Kaleidoscope. This is a collection of YA fantasy and science fiction stories. It's edited by Alisa Krasnostein and Julia Rios, which if you listen to Galactic Suburbia or the Skiffy and Fanti podcast, you may recognize their names. That's where I know them from. This is, like I said, a collection, and I'm picking it up now because the story by Amal El Motar, which is The Truth About Owls, is one of the short stories that Paul picked to read this week. Um, for his Sunday shorts and I do want to read it and I just happened to own it. This has been sitting on my shelf for a really long time so I want to start on this. The final two books that I'll probably pick up this weekend are Prudence by Gail Carriger and Cryo Burn by Lois McMaster Booja, which is the last Rakosigan book and then I'll be caught up and when the new book comes out in February, cross your fingers that that publication date holds because I want that I want that book for my birthday <laughs> in February of 2016 so yeah. I hope that you guys are having a great Friday and that you have an excellent weekend. I'll be back on Sunday with my weekly wrap-up to tell you about things that I actually finished. Until then, bye.